Many of our brothers and sisters here on YouTube are going through crisis in their family. Um, the last one is a, that I know of is a brother who is going through a health crisis with his father. And that really touched my heart. I can really relate to that because last year I almost lost my mom. Um, for those of you that didn't see some of those entries, um, I we live in different states, and um, she was in the hospital some for some fairly routine things, and ended up blowing two heart valves. I called down there, and she was in ICU. I talked to three doctors, and they. Um, uh, gave her just even less than a 40 percent chance of even being able to stabilize to do surgery. Um, her systems were shutting down. I didn't know if she would still be there for me to even get there, still still be alive by the time I, I flew down there. Um, it was some hard times when I was there, and but I learned a lot. Um, she, did, she did come through and she's doing great. Um, those were some really, really hard times. And I journaled some of the lessons that I've learned. Because with God, I've learned that if I don't learn the lessons that he has for me in a situation, somewhere down the line the situation repeats. And I don't want to go through <laughs> that again. I thought, well, I'll have to go through uh, losing someone again. But I have learned to learn my lessons. Um, so I'd like to share with you my journal entries and some things that, that I learned. I'll just be reading parts of it. Um, and, and talking to you about parts of it. Um, one thing that I learned really through my whole being is that though God is in the Bible, God isn't the Bible. And I think so many times um, because I put such a um, high price on God's Word. It's very, very precious. Um, but I truly learned that um, during this time, there, there's so much comfort to be found in his word. During this time, though, I didn't have the concentration to read it. I just didn't. I carried it around with me, so I knew it would be there. But I didn't have the concentration to read it. And, um, and if you don't either, you know, that's okay. The time will come when you do, and God will understand. But um, it's one of the methods that God uses to speak to us in, in a crisis. Um, but what comforted me was the things that God spoke to my heart, what the Spirit spoke to my heart. It was God that did that. It was God that held me during that time. It was God that was on the airplane on my way down that was with me. It was God that arranged for my mother-in-law and my aunt-in-law to just be around 24-7, didn't let me alone. They they held my hands up like Aaron and her did to Moses. And uh, it's, it's his word that comforts, but God himself is so much more than that. And it's really important when you're going through a crisis not to lose sight of the relationship with God and seeing through spiritual eyes what he's done. What I also learned is that when it comes down to it, what makes a person not falter, at least me, from their faith isn't logic or apologetics. The right Bible, the right right church, um, is the Holy Spirit inside us and one's own experience with God that makes us know during this time that there is a God, during time where you can lose your faith. It's what we know of God. Um, seminary helped me understand God's Word, but it didn't change my relationship with God. No school, no training can do that. No education can do that. God's the only one. He's the one that breathes life into our souls. It's like He breathed life into Adam. And he breathes life into His Word. There was a young man I met in the hospital. He, he had a grandparent there. He was 26 years old and should have been in a wheelchair by the time he was 21. But he wasn't. He was walking around. He had a very strong faith, this young man. 
He once had Rocky Mountain spotted fever. They, uh, they gave him three days to live. It was really, really bad. And, uh, and the fourth day, you know what, the fourth day, he walked into the doctor's office, healthy. And the doctor, he said the doctor looked like he'd seen a ghost. It taught me that man's reality, you know, what we expect to happen, it only occasionally overlaps God's reality. To trust God, to trust Him to deliver His reality. Sometimes God's reality delivers me, but when it doesn't, He still holds me through it, and He'll hold you through it. I have to trust Him for what's best. I wrote that it should change my habit of worrying about things, that I should pray over it, execute it, and then trust God. Maybe one of the most important things that I learned was this. After I pray over it, execute it, and trust God, if it still doesn't work out, still trust God and go with plan B, because apparently my plan B was God's plan A. If it still doesn't work out, trust God and go with plan B, because my plan B was apparently God's plan A. And I learned to live life letting God's arms carry me and to rest in the arms of Jesus, no matter what. I love you guys and praying for you and wish you all well. God bless.